Hi, my name is Britton, and I live in Texas. My daddy is a river rat at heart. His name is Scott, and he's been chasing big waters for years. He first discovered his love for floating growing up in Colorado when he was my age. My name is Allie, and on most days, I'll admit to being Britton's big sister. We love going on raft trips as a family. If you trace back our family's passion for rafting, it's my grandpa John who deserves the credit for getting my dad hooked into the love for rivers. My grandpa has guided some epic adventures through the years. I'm not trying to call him old, but he's been around the block a time or two. Floating trips like Grand Canyon and the Cataract Canyon. He loves sharing his passion for guiding rivers with anyone who's willing to learn. Sky, 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 can't see it all at once. Tell, 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 there's no telling what history will bring. That must be why. We love rap trips because we get to explore new places, build confidence, and connect with new friends without all the distractions from back home. Let my mom's cousin Michael tag along, mostly because he brings cool things like ripped t-shirts. It also doesn't hurt that he drew the permit for the river. We actually call him our uncle because he's a fun uncle, even though he's not really our uncle. Why, 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 why did Socrates apologize? I'm Chloe, and this is my dad, Chris. We met the Wintering family when we moved into the same neighborhood in Texas. I guess you can say that Scott shared his passion for rafting with my dad. Ever since their first float trip together, my dad's love for the water has only grown. Now he does his own share of paddling and he's always up for an adventure to feed his soul. and I'm her older sister, Aubrey. I'm guessing that you've caught into the girl dad theme by now. We live in Colorado and we love exploring new places, which is good because nature is our happy place. Our dad is also named Chris, which can get confusing. I think Scott might only be allowed to have friends named Chris. Either that or he just likes Chris's. We are excited for this trip, but also a little nervous. It's our first time rafting. Our dad met Scott when he was our age. Yeah, I think they went on a forced play date in the sandbox of a small Colorado town. And the next thing you know, they were exchanging best man speeches in their weddings. Now, even Catherine and Angela have become good friends, and they make sure that we always have full bellies and plenty of sunscreen as our adventure moms. Our dads went on a lot of adventures growing up, like exploring wild caves in search of a lost river, getting lost in old dirt roads, and floating through town on the local Yampa River. With all the twists and turns that come with life, they haven't been out exploring together in years. This trip will change that. What's up? What's going on? I didn't know if I was going to FaceTime you or if uh, you were going to call me or what, so I just I just went for it. You took the initiative. Yeah. There's a lot of people that won't take initiative because they just wait around and wait for things to happen, you know? I know. That's why I'm going on this trip with you. <laughs> Taking some initiative. Taking some initiative. Look, this just came in the mail just today. What is it? I got the butt chapstick. Oh, is, right. Is this the right stuff? Yeah, that, 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 well. Poop in a bucket 
and use the butt chapstick. Those are the big challenges. Those are, yeah. And, and the, the boobin in the bucket's not that big. Of a and, and the rest is just easy. It's just hold on tight. Hold on tight. Yep. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Texas to Colorado to Idaho. All right. Honey, honey, get the kids in the car now. With the cash in the trunk, get the keys, let's go. Promise I'll be right behind you. But you're gonna die if you don't hit the road. Keep your lights down. Keep your voice down. Wear your head down. Whichever way you go. And I'll meet you. And I know A lot of planning to get ready for this big adventure. Well, I'm by my window. I thought it just might be you. Judging from the color of its breast and the sound of its song. But I'm just thinking. Idaho was our destination for this year's family road trip. We made our way to the main Salmon River from different parts of the country. Some of us drove, some of us flew, but we all came together for this epic adventure. They call the Salmon River the River No Return. That's because when you set off, you're venturing into 80 miles of pure wild. This river winds through the largest untouched section of federal managed wilderness in the lower 48 of the United States. No roads, no emergency services, no stores, and very few people. In fact, it takes the shuttle drivers nine hours of driving our rig across the national forest to get our truck from the launch spot to take out. This makes getting on the boat a big deal. It takes a certain level of commitment. It's a way of surrendering your control to the fate of the river. This is Alder. This is where we're camping tomorrow. tomorrow on the night. other side of the room. And then we have... We have what can I see if Spindle Creek and your Phantom. A three. Long hair and longer stride. Skateboard affair with the primal tribe. And you cut off paint to paint. Charging down the craggy mountains with our thrift store friends And who you find so, so in love with the fallen earth Who you wake in the middle of the fallen night with the summer playing coy And in the attics of the city night we talked Corso in the MC5 When you could dance live We were all alright And all you wild ones Give you something and never want it back All the riot and the rush Of the warm night And all you wild ones Are the 
ones you can never catch Stars are open now No place to go But everywhere Ready, H2? Oh, yeah! Grandpa, take care. He dropped the kids off with you. We'll be back for dinner. <laughs> Speaking of surrendering your control to the fate of the river, some of these rapids help to remind us who's really in charge here. We can prep and scout the big holes to help our chances. But in the end, the white water decides our destiny.
A wild river can be humbling. Besides humility and will, this river has also taught us a thing or two about friendships. We have spent a great deal of time out here away from all the noise. We've almost forgotten about our daily routines and our lives back home. New bonds are always forged through common experiences in nature. It was a long Monday to say calm Wrote it down in a song Paradise lost but Paradise found It all comes back around You'll go on, on, on Like the river, you go on, and you go on, on, on. Just like the river, you go on. sauna on every trip so this is something we're going to carry on no farting in here B <laughs> like you did to me on the boat <laughs> Britain, how many kids in your school have even camped or been on a river? Two. Two? You and your sister? As we near the end of our journey, the river of no return now takes on a new meaning. It has become a metaphor for life. The salmon has shaped each of us. We are no longer the people we were before we navigated this river. We have all forged new relationships, new ideas, new skills, new confidence, and so much more. The River of No Return means that we as people have grown into a new version of ourselves. Now that we have been shaped by this river, it's impossible to go back to who we were before. For this is the River of No Return. From now we'll all be gone All our friends will move away 
And they're going to better places But our friends will be gone away Nothing is as it has been And I miss your face like hell And I guess it's just as well But I miss your face like hell Been talking about the way things change And my family lives in a different state And if you don't know what to make of this Then we will not relate so if you don't know what to make of this Then we will not relate oh, 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 oh. Till I reach you Rivers and roads Oh, rivers and roads Oh, rivers Till I reach you Rivers and roads Rivers and roads Rivers till I reach you Rivers and roads Rivers Till I reach you Rivers and roads Rivers and roads Rivers till I reach you Oh boy I swear this is some sort of initiation process.